Right, so I'm going to show you how to do titration calculations in the most simple way that I can think of. First of all, you need to start by writing out a balanced equation. So let's look at the question. In a titration, 20 centimetres cubed of 2 molar hydrochloric acid reacted with 25 centimetres cubed of sodium hydroxide. What was the concentration of the sodium hydroxide? So like I said, we'll write out the equation first of all. So that's going to be hydrochloric acid HCl plus NaOH forms sodium chloride, salt, and water. Okay, let's check that it's balanced. If I look at the atoms, the number of atoms of each element on both sides, I can see that it's the same because we have two hydrogens on the left and right side, one sodium, one chlorine, and one oxygen. So that's good to go. As with all these calculations, I like arranging it in a table format, so I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to use this formula triangle. And it's going to have N at the top, then C and then V. So N stands for number of moles, C stands for concentration, and V stands for volume. So it's always really great using these formula triangles because it means you have to learn less. Now at this point I'm going to look back at the question and get rid of the two formulae that I don't need to know about, which is sodium chloride and water because they're not mentioned and I don't want to waste my time on them. So now I'm going to fill in the bits of the table that I know based on the question. So... We're going to look at the concentration of hydrochloric acid, which is 2, so that's going to go there. Right, the volume is 20 centimetres cubed. Now, it's best to do these questions in decimetres cubed to ensure that you don't make any mistakes with units. So in order to convert 20 centimetres cubed into decimetres cubed, you need to divide by 1,000, and therefore the answer is 0 0.02 decimetres cubed. Let's look at the volume of sodium hydroxide. Well, that's 25 centimetres cubed. So again, I'm going to convert that to decimetres cubed by dividing it by 1,000. And therefore, on this side, we're going to have 0 0.025 decimetres cubed of sodium hydroxide. OK, so now if we look back at the hydrochloric acid, we can see that we have both the concentration and the volume. And therefore, using this formula triangle, we can work out the number of moles by doing number of moles equals concentration times volume. So that will be, for hydrochloric acid, 2 times 0 0.02, and therefore that will be 0 0.04. So let's fill that in here. Because the ratios between the hydrochloric acid and the sodium hydroxide are the same, it's 1 to 1, as opposed to being like 2 hydrochloric acid plus 1 sodium hydroxide, we can just carry the number of moles across. So the number of moles of sodium hydroxide will also be 0 0.04. OK, so now we know the number of moles and we know the volume, we can work out concentration. Remember, concentration is number of moles divided by volume, and I've used my formula triangle to help me with that. Therefore, it's 0 0.04 divided by 0 0.025. And the answer is 1.6 moles to the dm to the minus three. So that is your answer. So what is the concentration of the sodium hydroxide? The answer is 1.6 moles dm to the minus three. I hope you found that helpful. Obviously leave any comments below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.